hello everyone this is dr dhiman and in this video we will learn about source conversion so we have to commonly use types of sources that is the voltage source and another type is current source we can convert a voltage source into current source equivalent and we can convert a current source equivalent into its voltage source equivalent that is we can convert a voltage source with series resistance to a current source with parallel resistance and we can convert a current source with parallel resistance with voltage source with series resistance so there may be four types so in the first type we have a voltage source that has a voltage of capital v and we have a resistance that is in series so how we can convert it to a current source okay here also we will use the ohm's law ohm's law states that v is equal to i r okay we will use this formula so from here what we can write i equal to v by r so this is from the ohm's law okay we will use this property here so now let us see this voltage and this resistance we have a open circuit here the points are a and b now we have to short circuit these two points a and b so here we'll have this is the voltage source capital v this is the series resistance capital r and here we have the points a and b now we have to short circuit these two points here we can say that this is a closed loop now okay so current will flow now so we have to find out the current what will be the current flowing in this circuit this will be equal to v by r according to ohm's law we have v equal to i r so the i value that is the current value will be equal to v by r we can redraw this circuit as a current source now and this arrow direction will be same as the voltage direction here we have a positive here we have negative so along the positive direction we will have the arrow okay you have to keep in mind now according to the source conversion theory we can replace the voltage source with a current source now this is equal to current source and it has a current of capital i and this parallel resistance will have same value as this one resistance okay that is resistances are not changed and this current i value will be equal to v by r from this loop we can say this is current value i okay so this i is equal to v by r so in this way we can convert a voltage source in series with resistance to a current source with parallel resistance so the current amount will be equal to v by r if this polarity of this voltage that is here we have plus and minus this is the current source equivalent okay now here we have converted this voltage source with resistance into its current source and parallel resistance now let us change the polarity of this voltage we have a plus here and a minus here because the longer line is here at the downward direction so this circuit what will be the equivalent the circuit equivalent current source circuit will be the same only the direction will be the opposite because we can see the positive terminal along the downward direction this arrow will be towards the downward direction other part will remain the same so here we have the two points a and b okay and here we'll have the resistance that is equal to the previous resistance this resistance is coming here okay so this value is equal to current value is i and this i is also here v by r now let us see whenever we have a current source with its parallel resistance so this is the third type so current direction is towards the upward direction and we have a parallel resistance now we have to convert this circuit to its voltage source with series resistance so here what we have to do we know that v is equal to i r as per the ohm's law so here we'll have to replace this current source with a voltage that is here we'll have voltage this one positive terminal here and negative terminal in the bottom plate so here we can see that the arrow is towards the upward direction therefore we have a positive sign in the upward direction and in the downside we have the negative sign here we have to add a resistance so this is nothing but the same resistance r here we'll have the points a and b okay so this is the equivalent of this current source with resistance in parallel now 
let us see the fourth type in the fourth type this voltage is nothing but capital v that is equal to i into r this current source is the i into r this will be the capital v so this is the conversion now let us assume the current direction is towards the downward side the circuit will be similar so here we'll have the positive plates towards the downward direction okay here we'll be having the resistance r this point a this point is b so only the battery polarity will be changed now let us solve a problem here so in this problem we have to find out the current through the load resistor this is the load resistor rl is the load resistance as shown in the figure below so this is the figure we have to find out the current through this resistance rl according to the source conversion theory what we can do we can convert this circuit okay here we have this is the six volt source is with series with this resistance this six volt source is in series with resistance this three ohm resistance so we can convert this voltage source with series resistance into a current source with parallel resistance so what will be the current value we know that current is equal to v by r so this v value is 6 and the resistance value is 3 so v by r is equal to 6 by 3 is equal to 2 that is the 2 ampere current source we have to use here along with a parallel 3 ohm resistance here we'll have a 2 ohm current source and what will be the direction the positive terminal is towards the upward direction so arrow will be in the upward direction okay so here we'll have a parallel resistance and we have another resistance this is the 6 ohm resistance this 6 ohm resistance we have to put as it is okay so here we have a 6 ohm resistance this value is 6 this value is nothing but the previous series value that is the 3 value okay so here we have a 3 ohm resistance now the remaining part of the circuit will be same so here we have a 2 ohm resistance we have a current source that is of 3 ampere all the remaining part will remain the same and we have 1 ohm and 3 ohm in series this is nothing but 1 ohm and here we have this is the load resistance of 3 ohm okay now we have got this circuit so this value is nothing but this 6 divided by 3 i is equal to v by r so 6 by 3 is equal to 2 ampere so here we'll have 2 ampere current source that is we have replaced this voltage source 6 volt with the series resistance 3 ohm with a current source of 2 ampere and a parallel resistance of 3 ohm now we can see these two resistances are in parallel so if we find out the equivalent resistance what will be the formula 6 into 3 divided by 6 plus 3 because r equivalent is equal to r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 so this is the formula we have used here so the r equivalent of these two resistances will be is equal to 6 into 3 is 18 divided by 6 plus 3 is 9 so is equal to 2 ohm so we can replace this two parallel resistance with a 2 ohm resistance so we can redraw this circuit with a 2 ohm resistance in place of this 3 ohm and 6 ohm resistance so we have a current source in the left hand side so this will remain as it is this is of 2 ampere okay and we can replace now a 2 ohm resistance in place of 6 ohm and 3 ohm okay this is 2 ohm resistance 2 ohm resistance and we have another 1 ohm resistance here and we have a load resistance here okay so this is nothing but load resistance is equal to 3 ohm and this value is 1 ohm here we have the 3 ampere current source as it is again simplify this circuit so in this circuit we can see that this is nothing but a current source with parallel resistance so we can convert this current source with parallel resistance into a voltage source with series resistance so what will be the voltage value v is equal to ir from ohm's law so 2 ampere into 4 ohm resistance so the voltage source will have a 4 volt 4 volt capacity and this resistance will be in series with the voltage source we have current in the upward direction so here we'll have a voltage source that is plus minus so this will be of 4 volt and we have to add a series resistance 
what will be the series resistance this resistance value will be exactly same with this 2 ohm resistance okay so here we'll have 2 ohm resistance now we are left with this 2 ohm 3 ampere 1, amp 1 ohm and 3 ohm so now let us draw these resistances we have another resistance this is 2 ohm this is 1 ohm and we have a current source here this is of 3 ampere and here we have this circuit now look like this so this is rl is equal to 3 ohm so rl is equal to 3 now we can see that these two resistances are in series so what will be the equivalent resistance that is 4 4 ohm resistance is in series with this voltage source 4 volt now we can convert this voltage source with series resistance of 4 ohm into a current source with parallel resistance of 4 ohm so what will be the current value 4 volt divided by 2 plus 2 that is 4 so 1 1 ampere current source will have in place of this 4 volt source so here we'll have this 1 ampere current source will have a parallel resistance of 4 ohm so this is nothing but 4 ohm resistance now we are left with a current source here that is of 3 ampere and we have a resistance of this is the nothing but 1 ohm and the load resistance is 3 ohm okay this is nothing but rl now let us see so this 1 ampere current source and this 3 ampere current source they are in parallel so we can directly add them the equivalent of this 1 ampere current source and the 3 ampere current source in parallel we can replace with a 4 ampere that is 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 ampere current source so here we'll have a 4 ampere current source this is 4 ampere now we are left with this 4 ohm resistance now here we have one resistance is this one is 1 ohm okay this is nothing but 1 ohm and we have a parallel resistance of 4 ohm resistance okay this is nothing but it will remain as it is this is 4 ohm resistance and here we have a load resistance and load resistance is rl is equal to 3 now we have a current source and we have two parallel branches this one is one branch suppose we have current i1 and in this branch we will have a current of i2 so now we can use the current divider rule so using so using current divider rule so using current divider rule what will have the current through this resistance rl that is the load resistance rl will be same as with this one ohm one ohm resistance because they are in series in a series circuit we have the same amount of current this i2 current will flow through this this rl so we have to find out the current through this rl resistance i2 that is the current through the resistance rl is equal to 4 ampere is the current source into we have to put this opposite branch resistance in the numerator therefore we will have a 4 and in the denominator we will have the summation of all this okay 4 plus 1 plus 3 4 plus 1 plus 3 4 into 4 divided by this is nothing but 8 okay 4 into 4 16 16 divided by 8 is equal to 2 2 ampere so we have got a current value of 2 ampere so the answer is 2 ampere for this problem so this is the solution thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you